y'all, it's Jessie Wu, and on behalf of BLK and Black Love Exists, today we're gonna be chatting it up with some single black fathers who are on the dating scene, but they're very dedicated to their children. Now, I was prepared to interview some daddies. I didn't know we was gonna have some zaddies up in here today. They fine. I might leave here with a husband. But anyway, before we get into all that, gentlemen, please do us the honor of introducing yourselves. My name is Q, and I have a three-year-old daughter. My name is Kevin. I have two boys, and they're five and eight. My name is Isaiah, and I am the father of a 14-year-old son. My name is Deshaun, and I have a 12-year-old daughter. Mm, okay. Now, have you guys ever experienced a woman telling you, uh, I don't do dudes with kids? They're pretty upfront about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In, in, my, in my experience, yeah. in my experience, I w women, they kind of let it be known. So let's talk about balancing fatherhood with dating. How do you balance both of those things? It's a lot easier at this age than it was when, when he was younger. Because again, I listen, I mean, I'm about to toot my horn for a second. <laughs> I was a real life single dad. Like the stay at home, like bathe. Make breakfast. Make breakfast, you know what I mean? Can't go out because if he see you leave, he's gonna start crying. Like mm -hmm. it was real difficult initially because, you know, I can't give you the type of time Mm -hmm. that it takes to really build an adequate relationship. I'll start talking to people like, oh, well, you know, when can you talk and when do you meet? I'm like, well, I got my daughter this day, this right. day, this day. Usually that, you know, Fizzles scales out. back, you mm -hmm. know, the who's available. What are some negative perceptions that people have about black fathers that you just want to denounce? I said the biggest perception is that I'm a part-time father especially as a black man, mm -hmm. that I'm not there for my daughter. And that's completely inaccurate mm -hmm. for a lot of black men, honestly. That'd be, mm -hmm. for sure, number one on the list to the point where the bar is kind of low and it's mm -hmm. a little offensive. They find you do anything with your kids. And, it's like, oh my God! Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, although we may benefit from it in the short term, that's bad for the community as a whole, yeah. that that's a, a stigma. Yeah, just... You know, that you don't spend quality time with your kid. Mm -hmm. Most of the times when you see fathers, it's like you you think the baby running around with the diaper on backwards, mm -hmm. dinner is uh, <laughs> burning, and, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? The mm -hmm. kid got the lampshade on their head, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just understanding that, you know, nah, we 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 know how to take care of our kids too. Yeah. And we, we care with the same you know what I mean, intention and with the same love and the same compassion that mothers do as well. How soon do you introduce the person you're dating to your kid and does your child's opinion matter? I know for me, when I was a child and my mama brought the, the man who's now my stepfather around, I was like, hell to the nah, uh-uh, mm -hmm. no, uh-uh. Uh, uh, no. It's interesting for me right now because my daughter is so young. Like if she was older, then I feel like my answer would be different. But because she's three, then there's some layer of, I gotta have that conversation mm -hmm. with her mother. Because that's what I would want to be done. I don't want you bringing my child around somebody random and I don't know. When is too soon to introduce your mate to your kid? Man, when you just like them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not introducing nothing until I'm like in love with that girl. And it's like about to be more serious. Right. You guys all feel the same? That was, yeah. yeah. That was a great answer. Yeah. 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 Bottom that line. Was a great answer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have you guys ever experienced an incident or a time when your child was like, no, I do not like who you're dating? My son didn't like my ex-wife. She didn't have the same type of love that I have for my, for my child. So when it came to discipline or when it came to, you know, what she thought was right versus what I believed is right, mm -hmm. you know, it was just, we just always butt heads and it always affected our relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. Did she I, have kids? She had one. Okay. Yeah, she had one. And so, even that, how she parented, it was just a, it was just a, it just you know, yeah, it was, it was, it was, you was saying, I was like, your kid like me, why you don't like mine? Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's talk about the BLK app. How do you guys feel about people proudly putting team no kids in their bios? I think you all top just saying the bar, like, okay, she, she cool on that, so you swipe left. <laughs> <laughs> if your preference is, to have no kids, brag about it, as, as we brag about our children. If you're having a conversation with that person, it lets you know, you know what they're looking for, mm -hmm. what their priority might be. I've never been a big dating app person, but during the panoramic, I got <laughs> bored. <laughs> and I was just trying to meet people. So at the top of the pandemic, I was in New Jersey. 
And so it was kind of hard to meet black men where I was. I like it because I, I am able to meet more black men, which is, that's my goal. I want to be with a black king. Yes, Lord. Let's talk about what you guys look for in the women that you're dating. Are you looking for someone who displays motherly qualities? If I happen to meet a lady and and me and her were on a good level and she wasn't very mother motherly but was accepting of them, it wouldn't bother me because I'm going to do everything that for them regardless. That's interesting because it's like, what if you had to go somewhere and you had to leave your kids with the person you're dating? Like, wouldn't that be something you'd be concerned with? It's like if she's never shown you any motherly instinct, you wouldn't be like, I <laughs> Not that you say that specific scenario, yeah. So, yeah I, guess, right. I guess I didn't think about that. Yeah. But, I, but like, because I get what yeah. you're saying. It's right, like right. I'm hands on, so mm. I'm not gonna throw them on you. But it's like, girl, can like, you flip a pancake? As much as I'm sure we all good fathers and things like that, I, there's just some things that, like, only a woman can do. Is is for me? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so I'm I'm a great dad. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But I still need the you know the nurturing of a woman, you know what I'm saying, around my child. I second that. <laughs> How do you guys feel about women who don't want to be stepmoms? I would ask like, like what type of stepmom things you think you'll be doing? Because my daughter's grown. Mm -hmm. And I, at the end of the day, I just want you to, you won't allow her to do anything wrong. You know what I mean? Tell her wrong from right. It's like really simple. We had that conversation at dinner, <laughs> just check. You know what I'm saying? That's just, it's just you don't want to be a step, and that's your right. Mm -hmm. It's your right. You don't want to be a stepmom. It's perfectly fine. It's just we won't get past this. Mm. Obviously, I'm choosing my daughter. Mm -hmm. So nice you to meet you, honey. but I'm good. So what's an early sign that a woman has shown you where you believed, okay, she's not going to be good with my child, or she is? A woman told me one time. I said, oh yeah, you know, I can't, man. I got my son. You like, you ain't got nobody to watch him. Ooh, that was the that was the answer. Like right after you ain't even finished the question she asked. Right, yeah, that. like you ain't got nobody watching. You can't ask nobody to watch him. Lord, have mercy. No, no. Let's get to the uncute stuff, baby mamas. <laughs> Lord, I've had my own experience with a baby mama, and my God, like oh Lord Jesus. Can we hear your experience? We need another right. special. We need another video. <laughs> I was dating someone who had a child, so you know when I would go over there, like I would read to the baby. I would, you know, spend time with him, play with him. And she took that as if I was trying to be, you know, mm -hmm. his his mom. And I was like, girl, I'm trying to put your child to bed so I could put his daddy to bed too. <laughs> How do you guys reassure the women that you're dating that you are not going to bring baby mama drama to them? It's my responsibility to make sure that the woman I'm dating sees the dynamic of the relationship and makes her comfortable about it. What she needs to be included on what makes her comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I used to be like, hey, you can't call after 10 o'clock. If my son ain't sick or nothing, don't call me after 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Like set those boundaries, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because, you know, my girl needs to feel comfortable. So for starters, I don't use the term baby mama. No offense to anybody that does, I like but um, I, I lead with, it's either my ex-wife or my daughter's mother. Period. And and from there, it's just how how you present it. Like I I package it accordingly. How do you all feel about blending families? My uh, my kids, their mother had a child prior to prior to me. Hmm. So I was I was in that position. Throughout the rough patches, it was rough. But now. She's just like one of the one of the gang, you know. What I mean, we all hang out like uh, might as well all be my kids because Aww. you know we. That's just how it's that's how sweet. it's distributed. I, I still take care of my ex's daughter. Really? Yeah, yeah. You guys form that close of a bond. Mm -hmm. yeah. How old is she? She's fourteen. Nice. So the same age. Same age. The same age. I get yeah, it. Yeah. Cash after yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to ask your child what they think the qualities in your mate should be, what would they say? I feel like for her, she just wants someone that's gonna, you know, pay attention to her mm. all the time. As long as the person is she doing that, attention. then I feel like she's happy. You got a princess. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh, and she mm. tells me that she <laughs> is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would just say someone that's gonna, you know, be able to give that to her. Mm. Anybody who gonna give me kids, that's my son. Won't he want more kids? 
He want more brother. He, he wants want, more yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he always, you know, if I'm talking to somebody, even if I'm he's at the house and he hears me on the phone or FaceTime or something, like she got kids. <laughs> <laughs> she got kids. She got kids. I'm I would say qualities. She loves like my sense of humor and quality time, like like playing, you know, the game with her, reading with her. Like she loves that. Do you guys ever feel guilty when you're on a date because you're not spending time with your kid? Like, nope. well, dang, you answered that so fast. Mm -hmm. You ain't even trying to. <laughs> I, I do. His kid is older than mine, so That's I can see why. That's true. Yeah. I feel him. I feel him. No way. I feel him. It's worse when, if I'm just hanging out, a date. Mm -hmm. Not as like my time. You know what I mean? We mm -hmm. all. But if I'm just hanging out, I'm like, how am I? How am I here hanging out? I wonder what they're doing right now. Aww. How do you guys feel the BLK app is different from other apps? The sisters. I was gonna say that too. For just sure, like, sure. yeah, like, like you said, I'm not. I'm not the world's biggest dating app person. I gave I gave him a try just because of the times, the pandemic, what have you. But all the other ones, it's, it's definitely not enough sisters mm. for me. For no, sure, it's true. For sure. it's and it's true. Not even, I can attest to yeah. even that. Like when I've been on other apps, it's like my lord. Like I ain't gonna say the app name, but there was one day I was on an app. I was like, they sending me everybody who looked like they was at the insurrection on January sixth. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's going on? Do you think? This is what I'm looking for? No, let me go on back to BLK. Mm -hmm. um, what about you guys? I piggyback off what he said, the fact that it's like just all black women. Mm -hmm. So it minimizes like what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, straightforward type of thing. Yeah. What do you guys love specifically about black women? Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I love it. I, ooh, you know what? This might be I'm my not. favorite section. Hold on. <laughs> Yes. Tell me all about what you love about us. I mean, for me, you know, you get a black woman and you got, you know, you got shape, mm -hmm. you got body. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's a big <laughs> that's a that's a big thing for me. And then also personality. Mm -hmm. I don't want nobody that's boring. And I feel like there's a, a certain level of personality or, or attitude, maybe you might say, that you get with a black woman. And mm -hmm. I think it's a challenge that I'm, you know, I'm here for. Mm. Shoot, we ain't gotta ask nobody else. I love it. That was the, that was the answer right there. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, physically, for sure, number one woman on the globe. For sure, we're not even gonna argue that. But for what um, for what entails, nobody, I don't, nobody, I don't care where you grew up, what situation's been. I don't want to hear no caveats. Nobody is gonna understand black men mm. like a black woman. I've experienced the the unmatched strength of a black woman. A black woman's influence on the success and failures that's of, 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 of a man, that's, that's power. Well, they pretty much took most of everything that I was gonna say. From the physical part to what he say yeah, yeah. about the whole, um, like understanding a black man, mm -hmm. and then what he said, and then like, like for me, like I love my mom, right? Mm -hmm. And she's really gonna let me know about myself. Why do you guys use the BLK? For me, it's it's that specific reason. It's like black my, my preference is <laughs> to have a black woman. For me, I, I like the convenience. You can kind of see, you know, first and foremost. I mean, okay, I. I don't like how you look, and I don't have to tell you to your face, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> so as we wind down, I want you guys to tell me what are the characteristics that you guys are looking for in a partner? Without a doubt is, is her faith. Um, Hallelujah. Yeah, it's her, it's her belief. Please be funny. Mm -hmm. Please, oh, please don't be serious. Yeah. Please, I'm a goofball at the end of the day. Okay, yeah. good. You gotta be able to match that with some Ooh, of us, you know what I mean? That don't one. leave yeah. it all up to me, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. That, I mean, at this point, I'm 32, so definitely financially stable. Bring something to the table, too. Mm -hmm. You know, I got it, but it's okay if you, if you got it, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. about that one. That's mm -hmm. bad. That's so <laughs> men love funny women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I need someone to be reliable in the sense of, if, you know, have my back. Okay. You know, when I... There may be times where I might not be able to do something, and I want to be able to call on you, and, and you be like, I got you. Tell me about a difficult moment you had dating as a dad? I'd say the biggest thing is just, am I wasting my time? Ooh, that's a good one. Because I just, my time is, is valuable because if I'm, I'm, it's almost like this time I'm spending with you, if it's not worth it, I could be spending it with my daughter. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get that phone call, somebody need help or somebody 
acting up or you know they really need you at that point in time and women are pretty understanding mm -hmm. when it comes to that but I don't care how understanding you are if it happens X amount of times or mm. we out you spend all this time getting cute or whatever yeah. now and then you, you know what I mean that's gonna wear and tear mm -hmm. on, on anybody he gotta and go then, be a daddy now yeah yeah, yeah so I, I, have, I don't lay down my edges <laughs> yeah exactly he gotta exactly. go be a daddy I say the most difficult time because my daughter was uh, premature so oh. she needed like special uh, you know mm -hmm. stuff done at home, like her mom being there, but I have somebody, you know, I'm dating. Oh, Lord. So it just got weird with the whole, she about to come over here, oh. you know, and help the co-parenting thing. Oh. So, you know, I didn't really want her there, so it was kind of like, mm -hmm. I'll hit you when she leaves, you know, <laughs> but that's probably the most difficult I ever got from me. I will say this, you know, I grew up without my father, so I know what it's like to not have your father around so I just want to just commend all four of you. Child, I'm getting emotional because black dads are so special. Black dads are important. Even though I said earlier, like, I didn't like when my mom got remarried. Mm. But I will say my stepfather he really wasn't that bad. Mm. Like, he cooked. He mm -hmm. cleaned. My mom is a registered nurse. Sometimes she would spend 60 hours a week working. Mm. And he would step up. Okay? So he did what he could. So I just want to commend all four Thank of you, you guys Thank you. Thank on you. being great, great dads. Thank and you. I hope that people who see this are inspired by all four of you guys. Thank you. So Thank, thank you. you so much for this time together. You guys out there, thank you so much for watching this special Father's Day video brought to you by BLK and Black Love Exists. I'm Jesse Wu, and thank you guys for watching.